Hello, good evening. Good evening, mister. How are you, Eduardo? I'm fine. Good. Good. Ovidio. Um, hi, teacher. How are you, Ovidio? I'm fine. I'm fine, thank you. Good. Celia, how are you? Hi, teacher. Thank you. How are you? I'm doing okay, thank you. Okay, so uh, let's begin. Thank you for being on time. What is today's date? December 2nd, 2020. December 2nd, 2020. Yes. So second day of december all right so let's talk a lot of, let's talk a, a little bit about the topics we covered yesterday which topics did we cover yesterday models 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 we were also speaking about retirement yes mm -hmm. okay um uh, do you remember some of the questions that we discussed when we were uh, discussing the require uh, the retirement uh, topic? What what is the age in El Salvador to retire? For women, fifty five, and for men, sixty. Right, fifty five and sixty. Right, good. And what did we say about models? May, my, should, can, blah, 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 all of them. What are models? <clears throat> what is the function of models? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Some are mandatory. Sometimes we're talking about mm -hmm. mandatory things, mandatory functions, right? Our suggestions? Suggestions, yes. Possibilities. Possibilities, exactly, yes. So um, when you're using models, um, it depends the model you're using to give a particular meaning to the, uh, to the verb, so. Okay, so let's, uh, any questions or comments about uh, yesterday? No. Okay, so let's. Uh, no. All right, let me show you uh, this image. Believe, 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 where is this? Where did 
did I write? Ah! Oh, right here. Okay. There is a part in the platform where you will see uh, this vocabulary. You see this, this. Okay. Can you see my screen? Yes. yes. Okay. Assume, be certain, uh, be positive, be sure, bet, doubt, figure, guess, have a hunch, know for a fact, suppose, and suspect. Any questions there? No for a fact. Have a hunch is, is like tener una corazonada. Yep, okay. that's exactly what it is. Yes. Anybody else? Peter, I don't I don't know the meaning of bet. Okay. Uh, bet um the do you guys remember the differences between denotation and connotation? If you look for the, for the meaning of the word bet, it means apostar. So, mm -hmm. te apuesto que no va a venir. So, you are very sure about something. So, bet is when you're 100% uh, sure about something will happen. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Any other questions or comments? No? Okay, I will give you a couple of minutes so you guys can work in pairs and um, apply this vocabulary. Let me find your group, nine to 10, I need to finish. Okay. <laughs> Right, so go this here. And I want you to apply each one of these uh, verbs. Um, and use it. For example, I assume the situation in 2021 will be much better. That can be an example. Or you can say most Salvadorians are certain that their lives will change in the future. So do that right now. A, a parenthesis, a parenthesis. I yes. hope, I, I hope, I hope the first, the first, the first uh, sentence that you say become true. Okay, very good. <laughs> yeah, because it is not good for. Them. Okay, very good. All right, so I will assign you to work in pairs and apply this vocabulary. Go ahead.
What? What did I say? <laughs> Let me think. Huh? Uh, I'm. I said that I'm sure. Okay. That I was. I was sure. That I'm sure. Sorry. That I'm sure that I. I will. I want uh, ten classes tomorrow. And constantly kick me out. I. I don't know. Maybe it's about the wind, the weather. I don't know. I'm not pretty sure, but. Uh, maybe. Weird. Okay. Did you did you know what what we have to do? Oh yeah, we need to we need to give examples using the words that the teacher sent to the WhatsApp group. The assume oh, the okay. positive. Okay. Uh, the I fear that we have to do all the exercise of in the platform. Imagine, like imagine. Okay. Okay. With guess. Yes, I am. Uh, I figured uh, in one or two years, coronavirus will be uh, like another disease. So you think it's here to stay, uh, Noe? Uh, sorry, what? Do you think coronavirus is here to stay? Uh, yes, I think coronavirus uh, won't disappear. Okay. So we have to learn to live, to live with. I think it, it will be similar when uh, BIH uh, HIV? Yes, HIV. Um, everybody uh, was scared about about a disease. Right. But now, yes, but now people um, uh, used to to live with with the disease. Even even that. Uh, science couldn't find the cure. Right. Right. Yeah, I, I, you know, uh, people want to be positive and, um, you know, we have our expectatives are that the virus will disappear, but according to our reality, you know, Salvadorians uh, we're not prepared to face uh, uh, a disease like that. So there's a big possibility that it's here to stay. Yes, yes. Uh, the, the scientists have learned uh, a lot about disease. So at the beginning, doctors and scientists had to guess so that's why uh, many people die because they 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 were uh, trying to 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 guess or they they, they proved with a treatment uh, proving another one and they interchange their knowledge. Right, right. Yeah, then it's true. A, Yes, yes, yes. Tell me. Yeah, yeah, it's true. It's true what you're saying. What you're saying is true. Yes, but I think um, in a between two or three years, uh, people uh, won't won't be scared about about disease. No, uh, no. The person will say, "I, I'm, I, I have coronavirus. I will." take that medicine or I will uh, I will uh, talk the, the sh a shot or boxing. <laughs> yeah. 
True. Yes. That's so... our reality. Yes. <laughs> Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Hello, hello, welcome back. Hello, hello. Okay, half a minute and everybody will be back. Um, any questions or comments about the verbs we were um, discussing and using? Um, no, our group finished everything. Okay, good, very good. All right, so um, that was the, the first part, the first activity. Um, the verbs that people use when you want to express their beliefs, positive sentences, negative sentences, those are the verbs that people usually use. Okay, now, what is your opinion about risk? What is risk uh, to you? It's like, when, for example, in a sentence it says, uh, you want to risk your money by oh. buying things that you don't need. Okay, good, good. Yes, um, you know, risk, you know, your example is, uh, is very common, you know, when you're talking about financial risk. Mm -hmm. uh, many people, they don't know how to administrate money well, so they risk their money. What other type of risk uh, do we have in El Salvador? Physical risk. Physical, yes. Can you give me an example of physical risk? Um, in an accident. Okay, all right. What about, yeah, crime, right, yes. Um, what about emotional risk? Yes, yeah. When you get involved in a relationship. Right, and they break your heart, mm -hmm. that can be emotional risk. That is correct. Uh, okay. maybe, 
or maybe the kids uh, that have been vulnerable, vulnerable uh -huh. uh, they are in, in, in risk. Right, All right. Yes, Carlos, you mentioned one. What is it? What is it? I said democratic risk. Okay, yeah, democracy risk, yeah? Democracy. Right? So there are different types of risk, democracy, financial, emotional, uh, physical. physical. There, are, there are different types of risk. So that's going to be um, today's topic. Let me, uh, no, not here. Uh -huh. Let's see this here. Not this one, not this one, and right here. Okay, can you see the questions? Yes. Yes, you should. Yes. yes. Okay, <laughs> let me send them to you to your uh, WhatsApp chat. So it's your chance to express your ideas about um, risk. So let me see. Okay. R room seven. And she goes to room five. Everybody has a partner. So let's talk and improve your fluency and your accuracy. Here we go. Teacher. Yes. Who called me? Thank you. 
in life or are you risk up averse? Uh, well, in my case, uh, I also think about uh, risk in, in a new job, in changing okay. jobs because you have risk to um, to not deliver the 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 um, the goals or not achieve being the goals that they are asking for that um a specific uh, a specific uh role so um i, I think i i i take risks risk in life okay. in in jobs okay it is a part yeah. in need of the san diego beach oh. in la libertad oh. the, they, they have a, they have that uh, in La Puerta del Diablo. They have uh, the equipment and everything and Los Chorros de la Calera in, I don't remember, what is the place? Um, I, 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 I can't remember. Los Chorros de la Calera is in Huayua. Um, I fell down in a big hole and with a lot of, I don't know how you say lodo, but mud, mud, M U D, mud, 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 mud. Yes, and thanks God there there was people near, and they they take me out. That is climbing. Uh, the road is climbing. I don't know if I how going to how going to finish it here. Okay, but I have to get up. Yes. Okay, number four. What risks are there in your wait, wait. What risks are there in your normal daily daily life? Um. Well, uh, right now I don't have. I think that's the worst. So one. I think if what well, it does in my my uh, my biggest risk because uh, I I I sign a document and I I didn't know how how uh, you were going to get you are going to get the money, but I finally I did and and pay the the. And, and made the, the payment like uh, one month before the deadline. Okay. Okay. So number. I, uh, I I think my biggest risk that I have ever taken is when what well, actually was the last year uh, when I. Uh, travel travel for the first time and and uh, I uh, fly alone and <laughs> uh, I, I was nervous because I didn't uh, I didn't know the place or the country uh, I didn't know the people uh, and uh, I don't know. I I think uh, I I I want I want to 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 get that uh, experience and I, I fly alone. I mm -hmm. finally get a, a new and a lot better job. So oh, okay. uh, yeah, at at the end was <laughs> a, was a good decision, but very risky. <laughs> Very risky, yes. You have to to be very sh sure on the consequences that your decision but may may have, right? And it was yeah. kind of health I, for you, uh -huh. because you are. Yeah, I. I uh huh. Maybe it was a good decision in your case. I, I think at the end it was, it was definitely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sometimes it's better to have um, uh, 
space in in your mind than having a, a higher salary or a, a higher um yes yeah, salary sure yes. and the funny thing is that the my new job i i i receive a little money mm -hmm. uh, but right. it's it's it, it was the environment. It wasn't good for me anymore. Yeah, it happens. It wasn't healthy mm -hmm. for you. Yeah, that's the word. <laughs> okay. Let's see the other one. Uh, the other one says, um, what risks are there in your normal daily life? Um, well, in my case, I have, um, talking about types of risks, I have uh, the, um, the risk of having an accident because I, I drive a lot. I, I have to visit many customers because I'm in sales and I'm driving uh, from San Salvador to any place or any town out of the, the city. Uh, I think that is the, the biggest risk that I, uh, that I have in my daily life. And what do you sell, Celia? I sell uh, maritime, maritime, maritime transportation. All oh, right, 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 yes, yes. Okay, good. What about the other, Herbert and Jose Ricardo? In my case, maybe when, well, when I go to the hospital to my medical practice. Right. And, and I have to talk with the patients. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe that is some of my risk in my normal uh, day. Okay. Are you still in university, Jose Ricardo? Yes, I, I'm I'm a medical student in my sixth year. Okay. How much more time before you finish? Three more. Three years. So three three years more and, and then you will graduate. Yes. All right. Do you like the profession? Yes. I think that I choose right. Good, good. What about you, Herbert? Uh, well, um, but right now, um, I don't have too many risks in my life. The, the most significant risk is get COVID. Right. Like everyone else. Right. Yes, everyone. I'm, I'm, I'm working in my house and well, I just need to go out when I need food or water or stuff like that. And well, the people is not carefully enough in the street right now. So I need to be in some places like taking, uh, be, being away from them and stuff like that. It's, it's a common risk right now, I think. Yes, you have to protect yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, especially when you see other people that they're like, ah, oh, whatever, you know, like Corona is not is not here anymore. So we have to be extra careful. And some people, a lot they, of people that run here like that. Right. Some people don't even use, uh, I don't know how to say face mask. Yeah. Face mask, yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. they, don't, they, don't, yes, they don't they don't wash their hands as frequently as they should they don't use a mask uh they don't keep the distance so the social distance yeah right right yes, and there's and, people and, and, that even don't believe and, in that and, right some people yes it's funny but yes yeah, yeah. yes and, and some people are going out uh at night like the people who are in 20s, early 20s, they're going uh, night to, to, I don't know, to drink or dance. And 
they can um, get sick or, or they can get, um, I don't know how to say contagiarse, but they can get the coronavirus and, and pass it to their family, right? Right. Right. Yeah. And that's how it becomes a, a pandemic, you know, like, uh, 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 you know, because the problem is contagious. So you, you get infected, uh, whether you show symptoms or not, you can pass it to other people. And that's where the problem uh, gets worse. The real problem is that right. the, you, you get sick. It may not affect you, but you can uh, can uh you can get sick other people right right true so that's that's our reality yes and some people think that because of they are young they cannot die but that is not correct right right exactly you know, yeah at the beginning you know the version the official version was that only the elder could die. If you were 60 years old or more, you were at a very high risk of getting infected. But we began losing people that are way younger, little ones, seven years old, uh, 10 years old, 20 years old. So now anybody can get it. Yes. Yep. So we got to be extra careful. Yes, that's true. That's true. Yep. Called uh, Covenant is an American company. We made uh, cybersecurity solutions. What's the name? Covenant. Covenant. Yep. Uh, I hadn't heard. No, no, we are new. I mean, uh, in, in the United States, the company has around 15 years. Mm -hmm. But in El Salvador, uh, this is our first year and we don't have uh, so many uh, experience or presence with customer right now in El Salvador because we are, we are new oh, in this market. Okay. Hey, and what does yeah. the company offer, Carlos? Oh, the company offers uh, solutions. For example, uh, they, we have a data loss prevention software. Uh, this is a software that you, you put in, the, in your working force in every computer and you can manage what are they doing to have metrics, to, have, uh, to avoid a situation that you don't want to have. For example, people... Uh, uh, people are doing uh, something in the social media during the, the during the day or watching netflix or something you can block uh, every action you can know what are they doing and the most important thing maybe is that you can ma you can manage every action in order to avoid uh, a further uh, situation with a virus a malware an attack uh, for a delinquency digital delinqu delinquent or something like that. Okay. Okay. Oh, right. That's Good. one of the solutions, yeah. We have a couple more. Uh, uh, we have this uh, tool like Zoom called Caters. Uh, you can manage uh, an entire course inside the, the, this platform, for example. And we try to offer in every uh, solution, in every software, we try to offer uh, the cybersecurity component. You know, every 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 one of our of our solutions uh, are focused on give you protection. Oh, good, interesting. Good. Yeah. Because yeah. I think uh, because you are you you like your job and you work every day. Uh, if you don't work. <laughs> you will miss miss your job. For that mm -hmm. reason, you 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 have to to think what you are going to do. Yeah, I I need to think about it. Okay, which one were you guys discussing? About the 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 time uh, in 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 the work for each one. Okay. Okay. So, so video, you're not teaching at the Don Bosco anymore? 
Uh, right now, no, no teacher. We finish the 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 semester. The semester, yeah. And when do you start again? I think in in the next next year, almost in July. 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 Okay. All right. Let's go back to the main session. Okay. Okay. All right, welcome back. Any questions or comments about the topic of uh, risks? I have a question. For yes, the number Carrie. six. Uh -huh. What is something you will risk your life to get? Okay, let me see the question again. You said number six. I no. was I was a little confused about this question too. Okay, what is something you will risk your life to get? Okay, um, when we're talking about taking risk, we have different types of risk, financial, emotional, whatever. But the most serious one is when your life is uh, under risk. Mm -hmm. What is something that you would do to put your life in risk? Okay. So in my case, any of my five children, I would risk my life for them. So, you know, I would say, oh, the answer for number six, in my case, it would be my children. Mm -hmm. Me too. Yep. Or you would say uh, my mother, my father, uh, my brother, my niece. Uh, you know, so, so so that is the question. Okay, thank you. Good. Anybody else has any other questions related with the 10 uh, that we were discussing? Sure, uh, I didn't very well the number 10 number 10 yes okay um, it says only a person who risk is free so if you never take risks you will never be free you will always stay in the same uh, environment in the same scenarios so you need to risk you need to take risk to be free you need to experience different things, new things. So that's what they mean. For me, for me, it's like in Spanish, solo el que no arriesga no gana. Right. That's that's the meaning. That is the meaning. Yes. Yeah. No risk, no wins. Yeah. No pain, no gain. Mm -hmm. Yes. No pain, no gain. So yeah. that's what it is. So life is full of risks. And, you know, and, and the brave people that, do take the risk. They're the ones that are moving faster than others, you know, uh, because uh, many times uh, humans, we like to stay in the comfort zone, you know, like, oh, you know, I, I have enough to pay my bills. I have enough to pay my children's uh, education, whatever. So I don't need to do anything extra, but that's wrong. I mean, my, my point of view is that each day we have to be in a better, uh, we have to look for better things in our lives. Anything else, any other questions or comments? No? No, teacher. Okay. No. Okay, so um, what is amnesia to you? What is amnesia? For God things. When you? Right. Don't, when you don't remember anything? Uh-huh. Okay. Kind of okay. Now, what do you think is worse? Is it Alzheimer or amnesia? Alzheimer. 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 Okay. Alzheimer, uh, people forget uh, her family. Even they forget who they are. Right, right. I had an uncle, uh, they, they were together with my aunt, I think like uh, maybe like 70 years, 65 or 70 years. And uh, you know, my aunt, she suffered Alzheimer first and she would tell my uncle, uh, you look like, like my, my husband 
but <laughs> but you're not my husband, you know. And and my uncle will be like, oh my god, you know, after sixty five or sixty years together, she doesn't recognize me anymore. So it's true. Yeah. Yes, yeah, they they forget. Uh, they they miss even their their sons, their 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 relatives. It's it's very um, it's very hard. The Alzheimer. Right, right. Okay, so our topic today is about amnesia. I don't know if you have gotten. Uh, to that part of the platform. Let me show mm. it to you. No, I, I don't. Uh, Let's see. <laughs> okay, let me see this here. Uh -huh -huh. Okay, it's right here. Do you remember seeing this in the platform? Mm, not yet. No, teacher. Okay. What do you see in the picture? What's in the picture? A couple. A couple. A couple. Wedding. Okay. A wedding, getting married. Uh, what is the impression you get from this couple? They are worried about something. Right. Oh, yes. I already. Right. right. Do they may forget something. Okay. They they forget. Now, do they look happy? No, they no, don't. No. <laughs> they they don't, look worried. don't look happy. Okay, they look worried. They look confused, right? Okay, yes, so, so... Like if... That's why they're, they are going to be get uh, married. <laughs> right. Like, they're, they're asking each other, like, are you sure you want to do this? Yes. <laughs> What are we doing? They, they, they regret. Right. Yes. Maybe, maybe they're having second thoughts. So anyways. Uh, the man. <laughs> okay. How do you say novia in English? Right. Right. And novio? Wrong. Wrong. Excellent. Very good. Or, or in that case, when, that, when these guys are going to get married. Married, right, right, right. Mm -hmm. Yes, only the day of the of the wedding. Yes. Okay. How do you say the uh, the boy? Uh, groom. 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 Yes. Okay. B R O W N. B R O W N. No, it's not B. It's, it's not B. It's G. Groom. Groom. Jim. No, no, Groom. 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 The groom. Yeah. Groom is for uh, men and bride is for the ladies. Okay. All right. So I need a volunteer to read the first part where it says didn't return. Anybody? What if the person you married forgot who you were? For one Texas couple, marriage became a blind date when the groom came down with amnesia this days after their wedding. Amy and Sean McNulty's, McNulty's? McNulty's wedding day started well, but ended with a shock. One of Sean's good friends was in a serious car accident after the wedding and ended up in a coma. Nevertheless, Amy and Sean decided to make their honeymoon trip according to plans. At the airport, Sean realized he left his wallet in the... He said to Amy, I will be right back. But he didn't return. Uh -huh. Okay, any questions about what she just read? No. Okay. Never... Uh, what does mean never tell us? Tell us? Nevertheless. Nevertheless. Embargo. Yeah, nevertheless, it's another form to say, however. Oh, oh okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. Nevertheless. Okay, any other questions? Okay, so I need another volunteer to read where it says mother. Amy contacted. Amy contacted the police who found Sean wandering near a motel three days later. 
He was confused and covered in bug bites. He had no idea who he was or who Amy was. Sean could not remember any personal details for, from his life, not even his mother. All right, good. Any questions there? No. Okay. So may I have another volunteer to read um, the last part, please? Amy was now married to a man who viewed her as a stranger. I wonder, you know, if he, is he going to remember me? How is our relationship going to, you know, form, said Annie? Uh, this was a big chance after a six year courtship and plenty of shared memories. Thank you. Any questions here? Courtship? Courtship. Does anybody know courtship? When they were a boy and girlfriend. Boyfriend, girlfriend, yes. Okay. Uh huh. The relationship. Yeah. Relationship, right? Any other questions? Okay, I need another volunteer to start reading and finish where he says might be. When, when Sean, Sean got out when Sean got out of the hospital, Amy had to give him a, a tour of their home, although he had a room devoted to music. He couldn't even remember what it meant to hear music. Physicalist Dr. Daniel Brown says Sean's amnesia might have been caused by a series of stress moments, like his friend's car accident. According to Dr. Brown, Sean's brain didn't connect with this identity, identity anymore. He doesn't know who Sean McNulli is and has no personal memories or autobiographical, autobiographical memories to connect for who he might be. Okay, very good. So you say psychiatrist and you say autobiogra autobiographical. 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 Okay. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Any questions in the part uh, Janita just read? Uh, when you say awful, you are trying to say what? When you're trying to say what? Uh, what is the word? Awful. Awful. Horribly. Although. No, awful. Although. Aldo. Where is the word? In the first part, when you say Aldo, 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 Aldo he, he had a room. Oh, yeah, a pesar de. Yeah, Aldo. Okay. Aldo. Yep. Mm -hmm. Aldo, he had a room devoted to music. He couldn't even remember what it meant to hear music. Okay. Any other questions? No? Okay, another volunteer to start reading and finish what he says it was great. I will. Okay, please. Um, Dr. Brown explained that amnesia was like forgetting the name of a, light, of a file you stored on your computer. You know, it's there, but you can't find it, say Brown. His memory is like that. He still has the file. Fortunately, Bertine's song arrived. The day before their first anniversary, Shang's memories flew back in an instant. His, his son remembered everything, including their wedding. I remember shoving cake in, the, in her face, say Shang. It was great. All right. Any questions there? How do you pronounce fortunately? Fortunately. Fortunately. Okay. Fortunately. Yeah, fortunately. Uh-huh. Okay, any other questions, comments? I, I think Sean uh, was uh, pretending. <laughs> <laughs> so he had a B plan with someone else, maybe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Is there, what is the meaning of floated, floated back? Floated back. Floated this, back. this is a, a form of saying 
came back. Okay. Yeah. Because flood, the real meaning of flood is, you know, like when you get too much water in a place, inundar, that's mm -hmm. flood. But okay. in this case, you're, you're, they're making reference like coming back. Any other questions or comments? Okay, okay. and the last volunteer, please. Read the last small paragraph. They um, use the experience as a change to confirm he picked the right right. I got to see how much she loves him, said Sim. We have a much stronger and closer bond from the experience. I couldn't have found a better woman to spend my life with. Good, very good, thank you. Any questions about the last part Arnoldo just read? So, do you think uh, she was the right person? She was the yeah. right bride? Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Definitely, yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. True. You know, when you're going through hard times, uh, that's when you see who's, who your real friends are, who your real family is, too, you know? Yes, yes. In, in, in bad situations, right. you can realize yeah, exactly with, exactly hospital um, jail and uh disease yeah, hospital, hospital jail yes, yes. what's the other one bankruptcy <laughs> when you broke yeah yeah hospital jail and and financially doing bad right okay so um any questions about this article comments no it's Although yeah. it's, it's like despite. Uh, yeah, you can say although, you can say in spite of, yes. Okay, thank good. you, teacher. Good, very good. All right, so if you guys don't have any other questions or comments, thank you very much for your time, and I'll be seeing you tomorrow. Same place, same time. Have a good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. 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 B